Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Here in a minute, you'll just see it all bubble up and start dripping. Are you serious? Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. Well, that is assuming if there's any grease in there. That should, that's probably not good for you to breathe. I'm not breathing anything. Well, it's coming up off of it. And you're breathing. Oh, you're scaring a bug. Oh, that was so mean. Uh -oh. I don't know what they are, but we're inundated with them. Danny, it happens every Okay, so you guys are wondering. You just made a spider lose its house, what too. What I'm doing is... Anyway, Danny, listen, it happens every year. We get those bugs every year. Every year. At this time. Oh, my gosh, that stinks. You're breathing that? It's like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Won't you look at that? I am so excited because I bought this thing a year ago with the axles locked up, but now I need a pinion gear and I want to see if this one's better. And you guys are going to watch me pull a pinion gear out, <laughs> see if it's any good. We're going to see about using this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Sally, is it okay? What do you think, shop dog? Is she afraid? Oh my gosh, she wants to know, are you okay? She's like, are you fine? Oh. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she gets me. I'm glad her do. Okay. So okay. What, what are we looking for here? Well, see, I run into some various problems when we do these things, because <laughs> like the brake pads, Shoes because they didn't use pads. Oh, are very tightened up. So if I don't stab myself, what we tend to like to see here is we like to see if we could get get this off of here. See, just like <laughs> that. You see how it just it just the Actually, axle no, I don't is see. coming right off of what? the tube. What's see? happening? Hold on. Yes. Oh. You see? You see this? Right I didn't here? realize that. I got a loose banjo. I had no idea that that was what you wanted to do. I don't. Brake shoes get stuck because they rust. If you didn't want to do that, why did you do that? Because it's all part of the process. Now these are jokes, so if I break them, that's a good thing. Oh, we can make a lamp base. Yes, <laughs> lamp base. That's why you have this, right? The only reason. Ow! Man, something just hit my eyeball. Well, that's why you normally wear safety glasses in the shop. <laughs> Ow! Do happen at the wrong time. Oh my goodness! I'm okay. It actually hit my eyelid. All right. Well, this is good. Just watch. Wow. That's gross. That's what strong men do, right there. Now, if only I could get this out, which I think. I don't have safety glasses, and I don't want to wear. Them. Oh yeah. Look I don't at that. I care about any of this stuff. Woo, that's beautiful. These are called the bells. Those are table tables right there. The table bases, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, that's what they're going to be, tables. So look at these mechanical brakes. They, they're disgusting. They're just bad for All the environment. All I see are disgusting things. When you stand on the wheel, it will not stop. So what I'm after is this right here. I should let know there's absolutely... No grease in that whatsoever. This is supposed to Are you being sarcastic? No, there's supposed to be grease inside. Oh, ooh, ooh. Somebody made a bar of soap for you that looked like that. No, like this. Oh, okay. So. Is that a pinion gear? No, that's a ring gear. The pinion gear is this guy right here. Oh, yeah, baby. I've seen that before. It's insane. Why? How much rust is in that? Is that not supposed to you soaked um, stuff like this in, in, like, remember that transmission stuff you soaked? Yeah, and, uh, um, what was that stuff called again? Yeah, not muriatic acid. It was, it was, sink, man. <laughs> Baking soda <laughs> in water. Was it really? That's what it was. Are you going to do that? With electrolysis. Hey, Sally.
Come here. Okay. Come here. So there's a little rock. Are you here. afraid? Oh, right, here. So Come here. Are you afraid? Can yes, you, you right are there? afraid. What are we gonna do? Gonna press this out right here. Mm -hmm. Nice uh, sconces like up there. Okay. Yeah, this will be a neat little endeavor. Okay. I made a tool just for the occasion. You ready? Wife okay. Wife's gonna get you from Murdy. Oh gosh, you scared me. Murdy, Murdy, Murdy. Sally, what is it? Don't eat that. Sally likes to eat metal. So she has a good place to live here. So here's this. Okay, what is it? I really don't know what that is. Yeah, it's okay. It's a tool. No, oh, it's a bolt. Put a, no, it's a tool. A tool made of a bolt. Yeah, bolts and tubing and... Did you make it? Yeah. Well, why don't you talk about this stuff? So this... <laughs> Let me get the other part of it. Dude, I gotta do a whole separate video, hold on. Okay, so I was, I was asked about these ugly things that I've made. These are actually tools. This one is broke. 1932, 33, 34 Fords, Model A Fords, you name them, whatever. They all have these banjo rear ends in them that have tapered axle shafts and the brake drums slide over the table. Ta table. So I made a puller that basically slides in here the axle shaft would come through this, slides through here. You tap, tap a little bit, you tighten this down on top of the axle shaft, pop this guy, bloop, brake drums come right off. But so there's, there's thing number one. Thing number two, this is a pinion pusher. Yeah, I don't know, it has a name, I'm sure. So basically what it is, these pinion gears press in these housings on a banjo rear. So what I am going to do, this one is really rusted, has no movement, so it might be tough, but we're going to try. So basically, I put a little socket in here because that's what I'm going to be pushing on. And I will heat this guy and see if I can't push it out with a wrench. As I tighten it, or actually loosen the bolt, it would push the shaft out and this whole thing is going to slide out if it works right. So we're going to try it. Okay, so a lot of people, if anybody actually watches this, they're going to be like, Ah, this guy's an idiot. What's he doing? So basically, we make tools because tools for this old junk is hard to find. And I really don't care how this turns out, honestly, because it's spare parts. So we're just going to do it with what we got. So um, this thing is really, 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 bearings are frozen solid. And so it may or may not push out without breaking the case back here. So we're gonna try. If I take my time, it'll come out, but I'm not taking my time. Okay, so if everything goes well, we're gonna hear a pop, and that'll be the bearing unseating itself from the rust hole that it's lived in for 50 years. All right, so basically you just heat up this section right here. There's a double, double race bearing that's in here. Okay, now uh, what are you doing? So now, I am going to tighten this bolt and it'll push this way while it's pushing on the back of the case. Like I said, it may or may not come out. That's a lot of pressure, it's not going anywhere. So. what can happen what can happen is and this gears are jacked up so basically all the parts I'm using are garbage because the gear is so pitted it's no better than the one that I had that had a little bit of wear on it. I was hoping this one since it had not been taken apart was going to be clean teeth wise but I mean they're really really bad <sighs> so Don't want to bang too hard on it. Don't want to break everything. So what we're doing, there's a bearing right here that's got a big race that's pressed in. So that's a double bearing. It's this wide. It's got to come out. 
And there's a bearing back here that's got to come out too. Which is why normally you don't have to heat back here. You just heat back here and this expands just enough for everything to scoot. Okay, you're back on. Sally Ann, do not eat the bolts. Oh, oh, did you hear it? Yes. It's like canning. Yes, it's like canning. So actually, now that we've heard that, there's so much pressure on this thing, it should be trying to just eke itself out on its own, but I'm just gonna put more heat on it just because I can. For all you guys out there that are doing it yourselves, too much heat's a bad thing because you don't want to end up throwing so much heat on the on the housing here that you actually destroy it. But like I said, for me, when I buy cars, normally I have piles of junk parts that come with it. So lucky me. Nothing. It is not moving. <sighs> Really? Really. Well, I take that back. The inner bearing is moving because you can see a line right there. Sally took another bolt. My dog, my dog eats bolts. <laughs> Sally, what do you have? Drop it. You cannot have that bolt. What are you thinking? That's the second time. No, sit. You cannot have the bolt. You can smell it. I know you really want it. <laughs> oh, there we go. oh, I gotta go back to the video. Oh my god. So while the dog was giving up her bolt, the mama bear here. Uh, Sally, leave leave my bolts alone. Oh my so it actually it did pop. Now watch. Oh my gosh, it. look how easy it is. Well, that's not a good thing. Oh, because it's not going anywhere. So I think oh. what we're doing here is we're going a little bit at a time. Oh, there it goes. I felt, I heard it. And you can see it starting to come out here in the front. Still, she's still trying to get the bolt out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, you see, she's going now. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All right. Progress is the name of the game. Eric. Woo! No, I'm saying right there. Good job. Now, what is the thing you're working on exactly? <laughs> Okay, so for the green horns out there. Okay, this is a rear end out of a 1933 Ford pickup. Okay, what part of the rear end? Like the middle well, part. So this is called a banjo rear because this part looks like a... What are you doing? Playing strings. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, anyway, playing on my banjo. <laughs> what do you mean? What am I doing? Okay. Oh my gosh. And so I am taking, I've got rebuild kits to do a rear end that was in my truck. But you never know what the condition of the parts are until you start taking apart your spare parts. And then you find out right. that sometimes your spare parts aren't worth pooping. Yeah. As I'm seeing in this case. I was hoping because this had been sealed up and had not been worked on for years that I would have lucked out and I would have had really good gear set and it still had oil in it. I had no idea that there was zero grease left in this puppy. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> She's just puppy. trying to get the bolt out of my hand. <laughs> All right, so. Seriously, Sally is trying to get the bolt. You want it, don't you? Yeah, you do. You can't have it. No. Well, as you can see here. Just trying to talk over my dog. Oh. <laughs> Um, Sally. my other one, when I got that far, I was able to just grab it, pull it out, but I'm sure it's pretty toasty. Sally, so. don't lick that. That is. Oh my gosh, Sally. You know Honestly, this grease, because it's so old, it probably is legitimately made out of animal fat. Oh, so she's okay? It's pro <laughs> I, I mean, you know. Don't eat the grease. I'm just saying. From 1933. This was, this was before they did any of that other, you know. Important stuff. So, Sally, 
Stop looking for a scrap metal. Y'all be getting the point. She literally is looking for another bolt to eat. Okay, so what's gonna happen next? Well, I'm trying to get this video. completely out. Well, you make it shorter. I will make it short. That's what she said. Okay, are we done? Well, I'm, I'm, it's not success until it's out, right? What's going to happen? I'm pressing this thing all the way out. See, I'm halfway there. Oh. But okay. I, had to, I ran out of leverage. I had to right, re-leverage myself. Is it going to fall out? More or less. Oh, put it right no, here. Sally. All right, last couple pushes. Come on, have this, baby. Yeah, really. Okay, you're doing it. You're doing it. Come on. Focus. You're going to be a daddy. Danny, stop it. Oh, I can see the light at the end of my tunnel. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, one push. Mm. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Father of seven. And a new pinion gear. <laughs> I mean, look how gross that is. It wasn't even worth it. That, I've never said that when I had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. well, so that means you're not going to use it, but you're happy you took it out to well, find out. Well, I'm the idiot that would still clean it up Ooh, and polish gosh. it and see how pretty it's not. Okay. Because. Well, thanks. I won't put anybody through that one, though. Thank you. <laughs> bye. No problem. Are you going to say bye? See you. Sally, you eat nuts and bolts. Well, I would don't know that. Look, look right here, Sally. Look, Sally. Look, if I had a nut on my phone or a bolt on my phone, ooh, I should do that. I, I should put a bolt on my on phone my so she looks at it for pictures. Look, Sally. Look, I wanted to get a selfie with you. Oh man.